healing, salvation, and happiness. It's your season. It's your time. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us and learn how God's love and power can bring hope and happiness to your life. This is your opportunity for motivation, encouragement, and purpose. Welcome church family. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network where we bring you the Lord's Word every day from some of the country's most inspiring churches and pastors. And today is no different. Let's check out one of the newest members of the Daily Gospel Network. We want to share with you yeah, and your family, family. the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God with one touch in the streets. We're touching hearts and changing lives with And thank you so much for tuning in to the One Touch Ministry broadcast. I am Pastor Shannon, and this is my lovely wife, Prophetess Naditra Young. Why don't you <laughs> greet the people today, honey? Oh, God bless everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. What a fantastic, fabulous Friday it is. Yes, it is. I am so excited to be in your homes today, and I hope this word, I hope this word of encouragement, um, these topics will definitely be a blessing to you and your family. Yes, absolutely. And I am so excited because, um, just by way of a few announcements, number one, you are looking right now at the author of Behind Closed Doors, the book. Hallelujah. <laughs> and let me tell you something. This book is going to be absolutely fantastic. Right now on your screen, you're seeing the book cover. And let me tell you, this amazing, amazing book will be available to you on next month. And it is, if we're shipping it to you, it is $25 to help cover for the shipping and handling. Yes. And if we just so happen to see you in person, it will be $20. So let's just say just a little bit about the book. Well, um, the book, I'm so grateful and, and I'm so excited and I am blessed to be able to become an author, to write a book to share um, the things that God allowed me to experience in my life. Um, the book is definitely going to help you. It's going to help you understand who you are as a person, what your ability is, and actually bring out um, for you to actually be face-to-face -face with some of the issues mm -hmm. that you may have actually encountered but didn't know what they were and weren't able to put a word or a name to mm -hmm. what it is. Yes. And, um, yeah, so it is definitely a learning curve. It's an experience, and I don't think you want to miss it. <laughs> that is so true. You do not want to miss it. And so we have that as well as we have... Um, our service that's coming up. Can you tell them about this service that's coming up on October the 30th? Ooh, on top, October 30th, we will be having a conference called Stop the Curse. And Stop the Curse is a... Um, it's actually a movement. And the reason why I say it's a movement is because last year in 2020, God um, allowed us to do a service in the month of October. And it was towards the end of October and it was an opportunity to actually bind up the spirits of the enemy and, and stop the curses over people's lives yes. and, and bring identity to people and let people understand the reason why we were worshiping because worship cre uh, really creates a, a huge atmosphere. Worship can, can cause things to shift. Mm -hmm. And we were teaching about worshiping and we were teaching about how if you worship, you can come out of the situation. Yes. Um, that you find yourself in. So that's what, what um, Stop the Curse is all about. But this time, um, Pastor Shannon was so kind enough to allow, <laughs> allow me to be... Uh, over here in New Jersey, they talk about it being unleashed. 
<laughs> I don't know why people say it over here, but they say that you're being unleashed. So Pastor Shannon was so kind enough to allow me to be unleashed. <laughs> Listen, because I want you guys to understand is that my wife teaches on this so profoundly, so great. And I just did not want to pass up this opportunity for her to be able to go into deep depth, into deep details on how to stop those curses in your life. And I think that it will... Um, yeah, I believe it is going to be a blessing. Um, so I'm flipping the script a little bit. So I'm going to do praise and worship. I'm going to let her sit down for a little bit. I got a few little surprises that she don't know nothing about. But yeah, we're going to have some awesome, amazing time in the Lord. And I'm going to loose the woman and let her go. Hallelujah. I've been unleashed. That's all I can <laughs> say. Because I don't know why people say unleashed over here. I, I I don't know either. But, but you, but, you got me. Yeah, but you say it. He be like, I'ma unleash her. Let her go. <laughs> Let her go. You know. And so I, I guess I get the opportunity to to worship and preach the word of God, which is phenomenal to me. Um, because I tell people all the time, and I have to correct folk because people like to put me in the pastoral spot. And when you know yourself and when you begin to grow in God and you begin, begin to mature, you start realizing where your calling is. Mm -hmm. And I, for a long time, thought I was a pastor, but I so was frustrated with folk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought I was a pastor, but I was so frustrated with people. And I had to learn that I had a prophetic call on my life. So I knew that I had a prophetic sound. But I did not know that I was just really called to the office of a prophet. Right. And right. my husband began to teach me. He began. So this is why, you know, we. And this is going to actually lead up to what we're getting ready yeah, to talk I was gonna, about. Yeah, I was going to say, if you just want to go right into that right now, just, okay. just go ahead. Go straight into it. Um, I, You know, I, I try to teach women all the time and for some who don't know I had a women's ministry a whole women's church mm -hmm. women and children and not saying that the men couldn't come because we wanted the men because we were going to have services where the men like we were you bring your significant other Sunday because we want them to hear and see your growth mm -hmm. and I teach women how to become submissive mm -hmm. all these things hurt all that that word submissive hurts it hurts and I'm here to tell you it hurts because it is hard mm -hmm. to be submissive mm -hmm. not just to your husband or your significant other married mm -hmm. or not married okay let's get that straight because we have to be understand one thing we must understand as leaders we must understand the time yes, yes. okay come on somebody mm -hmm. we must understand the time everybody's not going to be married Mm -hmm. Everybody is not going to get married. Mm -hmm. Some women and men don't want to be married. That is so true. But they love the Lord. Mm -hmm. But who are you to judge? Yes. So it was so important um, because we got a chance to minister to a couple this past weekend. Yes. And I was just explaining to them that, you know, hey, it really doesn't matter if you're married or not. You you guys are a family unit. Because you're living together. You're living together. So you are a family. Mm -hmm. And let, let, let's make sure we explain this. Mm -hmm. We are not supporting marriage. I mean, I'm sorry, to people being together, living together, um, not being married. So we don't support that. Right. That's not what we're saying. Mm -hmm. um, because, see, you have folks that are viewing and you want to make sure that they understand. We do not believe in support premarital sex. Right. We do not right. believe in support people living together. Mm -hmm. We don't support that. But you have to understand, people are doing it. So exactly. you cannot control folks. Mm -hmm. You can only tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. They're not going to always accept it, but you have to move on from it. Yes. You have to say, this is the truth, mm -hmm. and that's it, and go on. Mm -hmm. You cannot control people. You can't make people do something they don't want to do. You cannot. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. cannot live with people. Oh, you're going to hell. Who? I, listen, who am I to tell somebody they're going to hell? Okay. Because I am not God. We have to remember that as leaders. So if you want to switch the channel, you know, by all means, go for it. You know, but I'm just telling you the <laughs> truth. You cannot make people. So I wanted to make sure we specify.
Right. We're not supporting them, but we know that we do counsel mm -hmm. people who are living together. Mm -hmm. And but they want their relationship to work. Right. They want their their they want their family dynamics mm -hmm. to work. Right. And so this is the reason why you know our part of our ministry is yes we minister to families we minister to couples but everything is in church everything is Amen. in you know we we have win academy where we have some unchurched people some unlearned people That's right. and so you know we try to bring Christian values come on into their life and into their homes. You know, we may not always say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes. But we are still teaching on uh, Christian principles. And the biblical, the biblical, the biblical way. Principles, yeah. yeah, the biblical principles, the, biblical, <clears throat> the Bible way, Jesus way, God way, the Holy Ghost way. Mm -hmm. So we're teaching this. But like we said, we cannot go home with these people. No. And you cannot condemn these people to hell when you, you know what I mean? You don't know their lifestyle. You don't know mm -hmm. what was, what they were brought up with. So mm -hmm. you don't know what they've seen. So... But go ahead. I'm sorry. Just wanted to oh, make no, sure we that, specify that. Yeah, no, that's 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 totally all right because you no, know, I believe it's important that people have to know. Yes. And what you said is very important. Is that we cannot control people. We can't take on, as your book says, the Jezebel spirit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shameless plug. Because <laughs> that's exactly what it is. It's the Jezebel spirit that and, and manipulation mm -hmm. and control. Mm -hmm. They are siblings to mm -hmm. the Jezebel spirit. Because mm -hmm. if you're trying to make people do something, yep. then you're carrying the Jezebel right. spirit. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> only thing you can do is counsel you can That's bring it. about correction you can say hey come this on. is maybe what you guys should be doing come on but you know again these people have built their lives on, on on certain things and so so basically long story short i was just saying that you know hey you guys have a family that you have to take of you have children you're living together you're working you know and everything else is so it's very important for you know you who are listening to us right now over the airways to know what is your family structure? How do your family go about? You know how how do you put things in order with your family? What happens with a, how another family run their house may not work for That's your right. family? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody doesn't run their household the same way. And sometimes you have to just meet people. As leaders, we have to meet people right where they are. Mm -hmm. We have to pray for people. We're not, we cannot become focused on people coming into the house of God. Mm -hmm. You just have to bring the house of God to the people. Yes. Drop it at their feet and walk away. They'll walk in the house of God when they're ready. But until then, but every time I see them, I'm going to make sure I speak blessings over them. Yes. Right where they are. Mm -hmm. I've had people to call me in the middle of the night and say, I, I, I'm... I'm, I'm drinking and I'm smoking and, and I, I, I don't want to do this, but I'm doing it. But I mm -hmm. speak blessings over them. You yes. shall recover. You shall be healed. You shall come out of alcoholism. Yes. You shall stop smoking in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. And you are a great mom. You are a great father. I mm -hmm. speak these blessings over them because why? Somebody has to speak it over them. Somebody has to. Because they've been already told what they're not going to do. Mm-hmm. Somebody yep. already told them that they weren't going to be successful. Yep. Somebody has already told them that they weren't a good mom or good dad. So mm -hmm. I have to do the opposite when they call me. I have to speak blessings over them. And in return, mm -hmm. come on, come on. I was going to say that this is the reason why we preach and we teach. Because the Bible says it's for the edifying of the body of Christ. For the Amen. building up of the body of Christ. They might not be living the way you want them to live, Come on. but you got to build them up. Up to it. You have to build them up. You, like my wife keeps saying, you have to meet people right where they are. Right where they are. And so this is the reason why we believe in touching hearts and changing lives because Woo, come on, everybody like is not everybody's not on the same level. Amen. Everybody Amen. and now we're talking about just regular people. We're just talking about regular people right now. We're not talking about and they're not those trying of to you be, who are in yeah. leadership they're or not, trying to be in leadership. They're not trying to be in leadership. They just right. trying to live. That's it. <laughs> They just try to get a life first before they talk about leadership. They're not even worrying about preaching and teaching the gospel. They're just trying to find mm -hmm. a life. Yes. They're trying to find peace in just living yes. on a day to day. Yes. And so the Bible says this. The Bible says that the very elect shall scarcely make it in. So who am I Come on. to judge Come for on. somebody who's trying? I ain't talking about the person who's not trying. Ooh. Lord, I'm talking God. about the person who's actually trying. 
So we are the kind of people to say, hey, call us at 2. Call us at 3 o'clock in the morning. Call us at 4 o'clock in the afternoon when you're having those um, temptations in your life. And you say, you know, I want to go. Um, I, I'm, um, what's that? I want to go commit adultery. Hey, we're those ministers that you call right. and say, hey, um, basically, I need you to talk me out of this because this is Come how on. I'm feeling. That's it. That's and this it. Is, and, and, and I'm getting ready to go do it. That's it. And, you know, if God don't intervene for Come me on. right now. Come on. It's going to happen. But the Bible says this. The Bible says that God <laughs> always Ooh. make a way of escape yes, God. for you. And so... The Bible says uh, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God through the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every single imagination, every thing that exalt is a um, thing again, um, your thought against the knowledge of God. And so, while you're thinking about it, allow praise to become your weapon. Why? Uh -huh. Because it causes the enemy to go. That's the reason why Ooh, if you can't get a prayer God. through, you can't get a praise through, and you call someone like my wife or myself and be able to say, hey, I'm struggling, I'm going through. The reason why we're going to tell you to give God a praise is because the Bible says in Psalms that um, 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 the enemy scatters when praise go forward. The enemy cannot live in the presence of God. Amen. So we were, um, we wanted to, talk to a lot of people because this weekend I'm sorry last weekend was a a weekend of questions for us a lot of people were asking us questions and I had a, a young man who come came to me he says how do you and your husband work together in ministry mm -hmm. so a lot of people don't understand our dynamics so my husband is the pastor and this is why I say you have to know yourself my husband has a pastor's heart he's a lot more softer than I am as y'all can hear, sometimes I talk a little bit more rough. I'm a little bit, uh, you know, but I <laughs> She's am, a rock star. I'm a rock star. Secretly, exactly. she's a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> I praise God. And I always tell people, I, you know, um, I love to rock out. And people go, rock out? Yeah, I love yeah. to rock out. Because one thing, if you ever uh, uh, think about the rock stars, the rock stars, they rock out their heart. They're mm -hmm. very passionate. Yes. So, Nadetra <laughs> is a rock star. Nadetra <laughs> likes to rock out. Yes. When I worship, I go bananas. Come I go on. crazy, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I look at it, if I was in the world, I would be doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? I would be all that. All right? So, I'm going to be all that for Jesus Christ. All that. There you go. So, <laughs> um, so me and him were rocking out out this weekend um because we had a service to do mm -hmm. and he kept asking me how do you and your husband deal with each other in the ministry how do y'all work together and a lot of people don't understand that my husband is the pastor he's the softer side of me so my husband pastors everybody that we mm -hmm. come in contact with me come in com contact with mm -hmm. i'm the seer i'm the prophet i'm the prophetess of the house so i see so all I can do is see. I'm not going to pastor you. Because after a while, I give you the information. And I'll be like, all right. Now, we done had about six conversations about the same little thing. You know, I don't have that patient part of me. My husband does. He's the pastor. But he kept asking me. He said, well, how do you guys work together? Well, ladies, I had to learn how to be submissive. And this is why I was saying with, with the women's ministry that I have in the women's church, mm -hmm. we were teaching women how to, I was teaching women how to be submissive. Yes. My husband is the head of the household. I follow him. I, I, I follow this man of God. Now, when I, when I mean submissive, I listen to him. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I may not like everything that is being said to me. I may not take it well. Mm -hmm. But I have to learn how to be submissive. It is not easy at times because when you're a passionate person, when you are a rock star like me, amen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you're a rock star, it, it can be difficult for us to to coexist. Yeah. But when I tell you the reason why we coexist is because God told us early on we had one misunderstanding. Come on. One misunderstanding before mm -hmm. we got married. And it wasn't a fight. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't no punches being thrown or nothing. Right. It was a true misunderstanding, communication issue. Mm -hmm. So this is why we have to learn how to communicate with one another in a marriage. Y'all spend more money and more time into worrying about the cake, mm -hmm. the decorations, mm -hmm. the dress, the colors, the invitations, people coming, where they going to sit. But you don't put enough stock 
Mm. And you don't put enough stocks and bonds Come on. into the marriage. Into the marriage. Of it. Yep. Okay. They put a lot of stock into the wedding on that day. Right. And it is a special day for you. But it ain't that deep. No, it ain't that deep. You want to last in your marriage. And yes, how my husband and I in ministry we work is because we have that we had that one misunderstanding. And we promised each other after that that mm -hmm. we would not have another one. Mm -hmm. So, because there's many dynamics to our ministry, you have Naditra Music. <sighs> there's many dynamics to this ministry. <laughs> right. So, you have Naditra Music, which is me. Yes. My husband plays for me, but I'm the leader. Mm -hmm. Then you have Shannon and Naditra Ministry, which is the One Touch Ministries, mm -hmm. where Pastor Shannon is the senior pastor, mm -hmm. and I'm the seer. So that means he leads, mm -hmm. I follow. Mm -hmm. Then you have, um, then you then then what what else? We have Win Academy. Yes, we have Win Academy, which is which I'm the master life coach, which mm -hmm. is I lead, he follows. Mm -hmm. Then it was something else. Um, well we do well we really haven't done this in a while, but we have um not Dietrich Young Ministries. Where you know when you host services stuff like that and do oh, stuff right. for when um not win academy for women's empowerment and everything else yes then yes I have you take the lead on that yes sir you know so I'm just like you know tell me what you need what you want right what's happening here but you know but you've been doing a lot of stuff with win academy which I've been, is so yeah. great and also with the book so so we have so many dynamics but mm -hmm. when we ask people because people say we want you and your wife to come out and minister. We say, oh, <laughs> <laughs> we laugh at him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we laugh at because him. <laughs> we, because we both do everything. We both, um, you know, I play, she sings, you know, uh, I'm not much of a singer, but I mean, I can if I need to or want to, I guess, you know, but we play, we <laughs> sing, you know, um, we both lead worship. We both preach, you right. know, uh, we both uh, will cast the devil out of you. <laughs> Don't make it. Don't make it. And we'll it. worship. You know what else we'll do? We'll come out and support too. I ain't gonna it's, talk about. And so and so you know. <laughs> hey, so when that. you invite us to the ministry, yes. you know. So my wife would say, "Hey, X, Y, and Z want us to come over to the church, to right. the ministry." So the first thing I say, "Hey, okay, are, are they asking both of us to come, or is this an invite just for us to come support, or is this like they want us to come play?" Right. Come we sing, have to ask. This? We have to ask these right. So questions. we ask. We like have a website, and we ask all. The, and the website. And that's why we try to tell people don't call us person. It's okay that you call us because a lot of people don't like the website. They don't like to do the website. They like to call us personally because right. they just like hanging out with us. But we try to gear people back to the website because those are the questions that we ask. Are mm -hmm. you calling for Pastor Shannon? So mm -hmm. when they're calling for Pastor Shannon. I put my first lady hat on. Mm -hmm. I put my pastor's assistant hat mm -hmm. on. I mm -hmm. become your adjutant. I call mm -hmm. them agitators. I, become, <laughs> <laughs> I do. I call them agitators because they just agitate me. I don't know why. But I become your adjutant. And mm -hmm. I service you as my husband, mm -hmm. as the pastor of One um, One Touch Ministries. Mm -hmm. I, whatever Pastor Shannon says for me to do, I do do mm -hmm. i no longer am the seer i am no longer i don't say i may still see but mm -hmm. i ain't saying diddly squat i mm -hmm. am his assistant you mm -hmm. know what i mean and then, a lot of times people call me just to come play hey shannon can you come play for a service right and so you know um and i may not i may or may not be the leader but a lot of times they'll say hey can your wife come and sing right and then so <laughs> then he throws that at me at the last <laughs> minute then i gotta switch hats you know but at the end of the day, I make sure that I follow the leader, mm -hmm. which is my husband, who is the, the leader of One Touch Ministries, the pastor. I follow him, you know, mm -hmm. and it is hard sometimes because... And it, it takes a it takes a lot of work because we have to make an exchange a lot of times. Yes. You know, so a lot of times when you see information that's being out, if you see my wife go Facebook Live, a lot of times because <laughs> we don't already discuss this stuff. Yeah. She knows. Y'all don't know. Yeah. She knows. I really don't care too much for being on Facebook no, Live. He doesn't do I don't it. He it, doesn't for do for whatever it. unless it's a service or something like that. <laughs> I absolutely and I'll and I'll show myself playing the organ or something like that. But other than that, I honestly do not like being Facebook Live. So we didn't talked about this. We didn't exchange. Yeah, so this. we don't we're and not so my angry. wife becomes the face. 
uh, of one side. Right. I'm, I become I'm, the face I'm of the, one side. I'm the pastor, but she's the, the face. face. <laughs> right. And see, people don't know that. But we have discussed this because my husband, he's really not into that. And the reason why I become the face is because I want to keep people connected. Um, um, I'm, and also, I'm the person in the background that people call at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning. They don't call Pastor Shannon. They call me because mm-hmm. they know that I'm going to pick up the phone. And they know, but Pastor Shannon ain't answering no phone. No, y'all Pastor Shannon is not going to pick up the phone. Y'all can hang it up. Right, y'all can hang that mm-hmm. up. And I tell people, don't call Pastor Shannon because not, he's not going to answer. But Nidetra will, you know. And Prophetess Nidetra will answer. I will sit up and tarry with you all night long. I will call you. I will check on you the next day or, you know, whatever. Give you your space. Let you know that I'm praying for you. That's just what I do because... That's a part of our ministry. Mm-hmm. So somebody has to do it. Everybody can't be laid back and not do it. Mm-hmm. And he knows that this is important. So we have to we have to do that. So mm-hmm. but yeah, you know, we work hand we communicate. Yes. We communicate. You wanna know how it works? Because we communicate. We do communicate. And we don't get jealous of one another. High five. Hallelujah on that. We don't get jealous about neither one of our gifts. Mm-mm. If they call for him five times and they only call for me one, I celebrate him like they done called me five times. Mm-hmm. Because why? Either way. If we way, sit up in the middle of service, they be like, I need you to go prophesy. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how they did that. I, we went last week to go bless a friend just to go support him. Just to support. And he, he was prophesying already to people. Mm-hmm. He, I think he got tired. He got a little tired. <laughs> He snapped his fingers and said, you, you, get up. I said, huh? I'm turning around. He's talking about you, not Dietra. Come on, come on. You got to work. You got to work. I said, never mind. And that's when I was un- unleashed. Yes, definitely unleashed. <laughs> Oh, I goodness. can't. I said, y'all are so funny, but I love what I do. I yes. love Pastor Shannon. Yes, I love what we do. I love yeah. what we do as far as ministry wise. You know, yeah. I love how God has brought the connection together. Mm-hmm. I just, I just love all of this. You know yeah. how how we're doing stuff and how we're actually taking time to run the ministry. Amen. And so, yes. So, um, let's take a few minutes. Let's pray for those people yes. who are actually, you know, they 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 may run into. A situation where um, if it's not their spouse or their significant other who are uh, who they collide heads with mm-hmm. um, with ministry uh, it could be a ministry head person that they're colliding with or having problems <laughs> with it could be the pastor who knows it could exactly. be the music director it could Whatever. be the, 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 the media person you know Anybody. they want to do one thing they want to do something else right so um so let's pray for that area really Amen. quick so father god we thank you lord for these thank your you, people Jesus. god father thank god we god. pray lord um that you said that um that that when uh how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It's just like the oil that run down from Aaron's beard, oh God. So Father God, we pray, Lord, for unity in ministry, yes. unity in marriage, God, unity in the family yes, right God. now in oh, the name of God. Jesus, oh God. Father God, break the bondage right now uh, for those people who feel like they are being bound, oh God. Allow them to be able to communicate effectively in the matchless name of Jesus. Anything else you want to add to that prayer? Father, we just thank you right now. We just ask you to repair the breach in the name of Jesus. Repair the the, the bridges that have been broken, God. Restore the hearts and the minds of your people. God, we ask you just to come in and just bless the people immensely, God. Allow the ministry for more information on today's spotlight church visit them on the internet and follow them on social media i'm renee johnson with the daily gospel network And until next time, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.